Today I'm going to show you two ways of adding music to your Google Slideshow. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. Now if you like these videos and this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification and let's get started. Adding audio is officially not yet supported in Google Slides. Now there is a workaround that we can use. It is not ideal, but it works. Go ahead and create a new slides. So click on new Google Slides. And we are now in a brand new slideshow. Now let's say that we want some background music. Now I'll just quickly add a couple of slides. We've got five slides. When I click on present, there is absolutely no audio playing. In fact, there is nothing. So I'm going to exit this. Now the first way I'm going to show you is by using a YouTube video. Now I've already done a quick search on YouTube for some copyright free music, which by the way, I will link to this song in the description below. If you would like to use it in your own videos, by all means, go ahead and click on it. Now what I need for this to work is I need the URL at the top. So let's go ahead and copy this URL. Let's go back into our slideshow, insert, and insert a video. Now we are going to insert this video by URL. We're going to paste the URL and select the video. Now, as you can see, this has automatically inserted this video. Now we have a couple of video options available to us. So we're going to turn this on. We are going to make sure that this automatically plays when presenting. And then we're going to close the video options. Now we don't want to see this video, so what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this and we're going to make it as small as possible. And then we're going to simply hide it in the corner of our presentation. Now you will still see a little cube there, as you can see here, but when presenting, nobody pays attention to that. So what we can now do is we're simply going to select, we're going to copy this onto every single slide. So now every slide has the same video file in the top right corner. Now when I present, I'm going to click on present, it's automatically going to start playing in the background. Now you will see here the video is running. Now if this is small enough and you can hear the music has started and I can start presenting. Now the only downside of using this workaround is when I go to my next slide, the video pauses for a minute and then it continues from where it's left off. This is because we're using a video on YouTube. Now this is just the first way that you could add a background track to your slideshow. Now I use this workaround all the time. Now there is another workaround as well. Now the second workaround is going to use an add-on and the add-on is called Audio Player. Now again, I will have a link to this add-on in the description below. Now when you click on add-ons, you can click on Get Add-ons. And if you do not see it in your suggested list, all you have to do is simply type audio player. Now, when you type audio player in your search, you will find the add-on called audio player for slides by EdTech team and add this audio player add-on. Now, again, as with the other workarounds, this add-on comes with some downsides as well. Now one major downside of the audio player is that it's like playing an mp3 file in the background as you are presenting. So you already need an mp3 file or an audio file in your Google Drive. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on add-ons. Now I've already uploaded the file, so go ahead and open audio player, open files. Now what this is going to do now is it scans my Google Drive, as you can see here, and it's going to recognize that I have one audio track. I can now start playing this track by clicking on the selected track. This file is now playing in the background and I can go ahead and present my slideshow. Now again, this is not ideal. You can flick through different slides and the music will just keep playing in the background. Now it is not part of your slideshow. It runs the track from your Google Drive. So personally, I prefer the first workaround. But if that is not something that you like to use or that you want to use, then this is a second option for you. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comment section below which of the two that you prefer and why. Now I use both and I use them for different situations. I will see you in the next one.